I've got to get to this. I've got to get to this because I have an assignment. I have an assignment. Let me rush. Verse number five. You have it in your Bible? And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, the katati kadada so. Let God arise. I don't know what's up. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Matthew 8 and 5 and when Jesus entered again into Capernaum there came to him a centurion beseeching him and saying Lord my servant lies home sick of the palsy grievously tormented Jesus says to him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Yeah. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to a man, go, and he goes. And uh, to another, come, and he comes. And to a servant, do this, and he does that. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them, that followed. Verily I say to you, I have not found so great faith, not in all of Israel. Verse 13, just parachute down with me. And Jesus said to the centurion, go your way and as you believe, so be it done to you. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. Do me a favor, look at somebody and tell them same hour. Same hour. <laughs> You got to look at him and say, same hour, same hour. Be seated, please, in the presence of the Lord. I, I have um, limited time to preach because I need a little time to prophesy, and I'm actually maybe on the floor tonight for a few moments. Um, sisters and brothers, ladies and gentlemen, while we are gathered here tonight to hear the word of the Lord, we must understand one thing, that everything that God allows, he's allowing it because there is a lesson and a blessing in whatever God allows in your life. Okay, you're going to be quiet, but if you're quiet tonight, it's a possibility you're going to forfeit the favor that's about to fall on your life. Tell your neighbor you can't be cute and need God at the same time. That neighbor didn't say anything, turn to somebody else and tell them you're going to have to let all of that go in a minute because I believe that God is about to wreck this road. Just, what, what, what did they say? Tell them, I, I just believe God's going to wreck this road. Now, 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 now tell them, neighbor, I'm trying to prep you early. I'm trying to prep you early. I am a praiser and I will not apologize. And I want you to know that when I praise God tonight, I am responsible for what God's going to do on this road. Because when I open my mouth, something is going to happen. I'm not hiding behind who should have done it, who didn't do it. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm not trying to get on your nerves, but I want to get on the radar tonight. And I need you to know that every time I praise God, it's like a GPS pops up and tells him that's where they are. Every time I open my mouth, it tells God something. It tells him I'm here. It tells him I need thee. It tells him I believe in you. You better tell somebody my faith is on steroids tonight. I might do a cartwheel in this church. I don't know. 
but what I can tell you is when I move he gonna move tonight if I open my mouth he gonna open his mouth tonight if I say something he gonna say something I don't know why you pity Pat with a praise tonight don't flirt with it date it all the way baby tell your neighbor you gonna have to get intimate with this one quick tell him unfortunately you may not have been a praiser but y'all gonna be intimate on the first date tonight you gonna praise him for real to pay. you didn't say nothing you better tell your neighbor smile all you want to but money getting ready to come down this road and I ain't letting that one Negro mess my money up tonight I ain't letting one person mess up my season I ain't letting one devil mess up my moment ah, you better tell him something is about to hit here tonight Oh God, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, don't look at me like that tonight. If you're not going to participate in my praise, change seats right now. They got empty for social distancing. And I'm not only staying away from people with corona, I'm staying away from people with no praise. I am social distancing myself from people that don't have faith. If you got a sob story, stay away from me. If you got a story to tell that God ain't come through, stay away from me. But if you believe God run up on me tonight... Because if the two of us touch and agree on anything, it shall. Be seated, please. I'm not there. God has a way of allowing circumstance to build character. God has a way of working a miracle where you see a brick wall. Tell them, I don't have no philosophy. I got word on this. I don't, you didn't say it. Tell them, I don't have no philosophy. I got word on this right here. And the word I have on this tonight is nothing shall be impossible with God. I need, I need to find the folk that got the possibility kind of faith. That the world says impossible. God said, I can do that easy. You ever been somewhere and somebody told you they were going to charge you one price? You went down the street and the other person said, no, I can cut that in half and give it to you like this. God said, what you were about to pay for, I'm giving to you free. I need five of y'all. Tonight our text is found in the book of Matthew chapter number 8. I don't have time for a long dissertation or an opening dialogue to help you understand where we're going. I have to get on the jet quick. I'm already on the runway and it, it costs with this fuel we use. using. When you walk into the book of Matthew chapter number 8, Jesus was having conversations and teaching people and he walks into a place called Capernaum. When he steps into Capernaum, something phenomenal happens. There is a guy who is a Roman centurion who has to break a rule in order to get blessed. I'm preaching already. That there is a rule that is broken in order to get blessed because the Romans didn't normally hang out with the person he was going to ask for help. There are some people who were taught not to like you, but God said they need you. I need to. Okay, y'all y'all stay on that side for me. It's a sad thing when people try to get you not to like somebody because they don't like them and you don't know that the person that they tried to get you not to like is actually the one that you need for the component of your future. Tell your neighbor, don't be simple and be silly and be angry with somebody that you ain't never even met, had a conversation with. You don't like them because they don't like them, but I'm trying to figure out how in the world are we ever going to get there if this is the process that you were taking to life, that there's some people that could have blessed you, but you won't even speak to them because you don't like that one. I wanna... Watch me. He's a centurion 
who is Roman, and he says uh, to Jesus after Jesus had got through talking to everybody, it says he came to Jesus and beseeched him. I promise you, it won't take long. Watch this. He comes to him and he beseeches him and he says to him, because the text reads out in um, verse number six that he was a Roman centurion who had a, a servant who was at home who was um, sick with the palsy and being tormented. Watch, watch, I'm out of here. Um, the, the Bible then says that the centurion says to Jesus, would you please heal my servant? Come and heal my servant would you would you come because this guy who's a who's a centurion he obviously has people under him which means now he has to lower his pride in order to get placed i gotta you, you don't want this i could i could tell you don't want this early see some people will never get blessed because you got too much pride for a blessing if this side talks to me if they don't i'm still good Ask your neighbor, have, has your pride blocked your progress? Just ask them that question. Has your pride blocked your progress? You got some friends that you know are so superficial that they won't let certain people bless them if they don't look right, if they don't dress right, if they don't talk right. I need to tell you that God's about to package your next blessing in something that look like it can't help you. I need to, y'all are messing up right now. Yeah, some of the folk you walking by are the ones that got the check for your deposit and down payment. Some of the ones you being nasty to are the ones that God is about to use to bless you in ways that you have never been blessed. Tell somebody, neighbor, stop looking down on the person. They may not dress like millions, but somebody spoke to you that had it. But you can't treat them like nothing because you don't see nothing. I'm not a superficial millionaire kind of person. I'm the kind of person I may not look like it, but sugar, I got it. Turn, turn and tell somebody, baby, I got what you don't think I have. The text says that this centurion has to go to Jesus in Capernaum. When he goes to Jesus in Capernaum, the text is that uh, this fellow goes there and says, I have a servant who's at home who is sick and um, he has palsy and he is tormented. Just for a moment, I could preach it so many different ways, but here is what the Holy Ghost showed me. He said, look back at it again and look at what verse number six says. I'm going to look at verse number six. And he said, this is, this is his servant. I saw it. And then he said, look again. And you see where it says he has the palsy. And the palsy simply means he is paralyzed. Okay. Y'all are not here. The palsy, um, Mercedes, simply means that he is paralyzed. He's a paralytic, which means that he has the limbs, but the limbs don't work. Okay. Okay. Come here. He has he has the limbs, but the limbs don't work. He is a servant, and the servant is supposed to be helping the guy who's out talking to Jesus. I need him. Come here. Come closer. He he he's the guy is uh is is supposed to be at home, and the servant should be working while he's in the home. But the man now has a problem in the house that can't help him, and he doesn't know how to help the problem. <laughs> Okay, y'all are not talking yet. Come back here. So now we got a guy in the house who is paralyzed who should be helping me, but now it's paralyzing me because he's paralyzed. You Okay, come back here. So now I got somebody inside the house that should be helping me pay the bills, but they ain't helping me pay the bills because they're paralyzed. And because they're paralyzed, what I would use this money for, I can't use it for that because now I got to use it for this because they're paralyzed and it's paralyzing me. You still not talking? Come here. Let's go 2021. I got this business that I started and I've spent a lot of money on all the material that I had. But God, the problem with it is it seems like it works a little bit it's breathing but it won't walk why is it breathing but it won't walk because it's a uh, it's paralyzed and now that it's paralyzed we got a problem lord and this paralytic that's in my house is now draining me which should be helping me y'all the quiet on this side i'll turn back here do me a favor look down the road and tell your neighbor i ain't even gonna lie i got a paralyzed thing at my house i got i got something that should be paying the bill i got something that should be helping watch this for five of y'all that catch it here is a man that has a paralyzed man 
man in the house that's a servant of his. In other words, what should be taking care of me, I'm taking care of it. I got to find somebody. Y'all still ain't with me. I should be getting money off of this dream, but the dream seems to be taking money from me. I need five of y'all that feel like talking to me tonight. And who don't mind saying, Lord, I don't know what to do with it. I'm not a doctor. I ain't no business major. You gave me the idea. You gave me the structure. I done spent the money. I can't get the money back. If I tried to sell the business, I couldn't even sell it. So I'm trying to figure out what in the hell is getting ready to happen with the problem that I got in this house. I don't want to lose another dime. I don't want to lose another dollar. But Lord, this thing that I got in the house, I love it too much to throw it away. I don't, I don't want to put it in hospice. So what I did was I decided I would come to you because the thing is paralyzed. It's still breathing. It ain't dead, but it's being tormented. And it's tormented because I can see the potential, but the potential won't wiggle. I can see that it could work, but it just won't wiggle. It won't stand up. And every time I stand it up, it fall on me. I'm trying to figure out how does this work? It's, um, it's paralyzed. It's paralyzed. It won't stand up. It's a weight to me now. It's a smiling problem. What was deliverance is now deficit. Everybody else is just moving faster. Got me getting ready to change my idea. I don't know what to sell now. I know you told me to do this, but I'm scared. And I ain't bring everybody with me because I didn't want them to see me this vulnerable with you. Y'all, y'all, y'all are not going to help me. Hold on. I just need the front row to talk to me. Watch what happens. Uh, he, he's standing there. He couldn't bring anybody with him because if they brought him with him, he would have lost the control that he did have left. That's because, because of my title, I can't be as transparent as I want to be. Okay, no, 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 no. You stay deep and wonderful. I'm just transparent. I'm not. Because some people, you can't be vulnerable in front of them because they're waiting for an L to happen in your life so they can post it or give it to somebody. But God said to tell you tonight, they ain't going to ever see you go down. They will never see you fail. Look down there, row and just tell somebody they tried it. Well, tell them God said it ain't going down like that. You done concocted new stories to go with the old stories. You, you can't even fix your mouth right to tell the truth. But God said it ain't going down. No, no, look down the road, tell you never say it ain't going down. The text says, the text says in verse 7, I'm out of here, verse 7, it says, and Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Watch Jesus now. He was very pronounced. He hears that this guy's got a servant who, who's a paralytic. Watch what he says. Jonathan, he says, uh, I will come and heal him. Now, now that was nice of Jesus. He, he, he immediately, he, he didn't even wait, he didn't even delay in prayer. Tell your said, there was no waiting line. He, he, he says immediately, I will come and heal him. The centurion answers and says to him, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. I believe you, but I got dirt on me. Okay, no, no, be, be wonderful. I got, I got dirt on me, so you can't come in here because we, we didn't clean up. 
they, there's still some stuff from last night's party. Turn around, Pastor. There's still evidence of where I was yesterday in the house. Everything I thought I was delivered from, I really wasn't delivered from it. And some of it might be in there. And because of discernment and perception, I can't let you come in the house. Because I don't know where I put that wine bottle last night. And I didn't, I didn't clean the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to catch that stuff in my pocketbook. I don't know if you're going to see it in my purse or my pocket. I don't want you to know whose number I dialed last night. Please, please don't come to the house. I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof I got pictures that's not perfect you cannot come to the house all the perfect people are looking around and all of you filthy people that are in here now who are saying Lord don't come to the house the perfect people who are self-righteous are sitting there looking and saying yeah I bet he, he better not go to your house because I can see from some of your posts what your life is like but the truth is it's not the ones that's visible it's the invisible Negroes that's the worst one and while you judging everybody your heart is worse than her sex how you want to talk now because of the way you act it's worse than what he's smoking because it's the one that got the hard heart is the one that's the problem you, you thought it was the drinker or the fornicator why is the love person of God Don't judge me when your life ain't all that clean, sugar. Don't judge me when you got secrets on top of secrets. So many that you don't know which lie is the truth. I'm almost there now. The text says, he said, don't come to my house. Don't, don't come under my roof. Don't, you can come, but you can't, you can't come inside. I'll meet you at Quick Trip. You cannot come to my house. I'll meet you, I'll meet you at Raceway. You cannot come. Is, is there a Walmart by your house? I'll meet you at the Walmart parking lot. Matter of fact, I got to go shopping anyway with your lying self. I got to go shopping anyway. Just meet me at. Because in the back of your mind, I don't want none of them knowing where I'm living. Spacing out and coming by when you want to. Don't come here if I ain't called. He said, don't come to my house you, you can't come under my roof I ain't, I ain't even make the bed I still got clothes on the bed trying to figure out what I was going to wear I, I ain't even clean the kitchen don't you can't come to the house I would have been late wouldn't have been able to get in I left something on I'm still trying to remember if I turned the oven off you cannot come to my house tonight the bible sisters and brothers he says I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof watch what he said but speak the word only I don't have I don't, I don't know where my talkers went S speak the word only and my servant shall be healed I, I'm, I'm getting ready to go. Um, notice, y'all, for, for just a, a small smidgen, that the next verse says, for I am a man of authority, yet under authority. I'm a submitted commander. See, there's some people that want benefits that's not submitted. Come, 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 come. I'm a submitted commander. He says, I'm a man under authority, having authority. And I say to this man, watch this, go. 
text says, and he go. I say to this man, come, and he come. He said, um, to my servant, do this, and he does it. This man was setting y'all up for something that you probably didn't see. And I, I, I didn't, I don't want you to think that I saw it all along either because I've never preached this like this a day in my life. Um, but something just, just jumped off the page right at me that the man said that we look over because we're in such a hurry to get to what Jesus said. We didn't hear what the interviewee said. He said, I'm a man under authority. Having authority, I say to this one, go, he goes. I say to this one, come, come. I tell my servant, do it, and he, he does it, okay? He says, he, sa he didn't say that he says that to anybody above him. Okay, y'all know. Okay, hold on. Uh, no, no, I, I, need, I need the church. Come here. He, he didn't say he says it to the person that's above him. He says to anything that's under me, I can tell it go and it goes. I tell anybody that's under me, come and it comes. I tell my servant do and he and he does it. Watch how he is said. He's setting Jesus up. Watch this. He um he he's setting Jesus up. I almost gave this away just now. He's setting he's setting the he's setting the he's setting him up. He's setting him up. Y'all crazy. He's setting him up. He's setting him up. And uh, and while he is in the process of setting him up, you should have saw some of them sitting on the end of their seat. Throw it over here. The devil is a liar. Uh huh. Uh, watch this. Watch this. Watch the Bible now, beloved. Because what the Bible says is that the man says to Jesus, "I say to one servant, go, and he goes. I say to the other one, come, and he comes. And then I say to my servant do it and he does it he says to Jesus would you please come and heal my servant watch what he's saying he said and then Jesus said I'll come heal him and then he turns around and tells Jesus you ain't got to come just send your word why would he tell Jesus not to come just send your word well the reason he was telling him you ain't got to come just send your word is because I recognize what he's dealing with is beneath you God, I don't have nobody in this church tonight what I realize is that poverty is beneath you so you ain't got to come Come give me the money. Just tell money to come. You, you still they say you ain't got to come by and touch my house. Just send your word because whatever I'm dealing with is up. You couldn't tell nobody to do it if it wasn't under your control. And the centurion told Jesus what he's dealing with is smaller than you. You're too big to come here. Ooh. Look down there, rotate your neighbor, neighbor. Whatever you're dealing with is smaller than who you're serving. Whatever you're fighting is smaller. I dare you look down your row and tell your neighbor he getting ready to talk to everything that was trying to talk to you. Why won't he show up and deal with my money? He said, I spoke to it. You just got to trust the fact that if I said it, it's beneath me. If I said it, it's beneath me. Just lean over and take your neighbor and say, it's beneath him. Ah, turn and tell another one, it's beneath him, it's beneath him, it's beneath him. Speak, Lord. And your servant here. Sit down. I promise I'm, I'm at the end of it now. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch the Bible. Watch the Bible. Um, watch the Bible and see and see what happens. Do me a favor. Just jump up one time. Turn around. Tell your neighbor. Say everything. Get ready to turn around at one time. That's 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 probably the wrong one. Tell them. Say everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So say yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I feel like preaching too. Hold on. It look like you ready to preach. Hold on, give me give me two seconds. The text. The text said that uh, that Jesus Jesus heard him say it, and Jesus recognized that this guy had faith on another level. 
And when he realizes he has faith on another level, I, I got to show you something that uh, that is probably going to make a lot of sense to some people and other people. They're going to be scratching their head till tomorrow about three o'clock. Um, just turn to your neighbor. Say, I'm about to get this tonight. Watch this. Jesus, Jesus hears what the man says, and the text said, when Jesus heard it, he marveled. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here, you, you ready to jump? It's possible to have faith so strong that you make Jesus lose words. Okay, five of y'all just missed it. It's in the Bible. The text just said that when he said it, Jesus marveled like what in the world just happened? How do you stun God with faith, God Almighty? How do you stun him with something that he wasn't expecting? I dare you to do me a favor. Tell your neighbor my faith about to catch heaven off guard. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. This sounds crazy. Watch this, crazy. The text then says that Jesus said, I've not found so great faith in all of Israel. Mecca, um, catch, catch this, baby. Um, you, you ready? I don't know who the, who the faith snatchers are in here, but you need to catch this. The man's miracle has not yet been worked. He tells Jesus, you ain't got to come to the house, just speak the word, and my servant going to be well. You, you with me? Okay, watch this. How about, the Bible said we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. You, you about to miss something that's right there in the text in front of you. You've been reading it all your life and so have I. But just today it's like it stand, stood up and slapped me and said, look at me again. Watch this. I need to show you something. Because the man, the man said something that made Jesus wonder. He, he gave Jesus a sign and wonder. Watch this. And then after that was over, watch what Jesus does. He then testifies about a man who's not through with his test. <laughs> Okay, y'all y'all sleepwalking tonight. I got you. I'm full, but I got to give you this. Watch what happens is the Lord testifies about the man before the man gets finished with his test. In other words, I wonder who in here tonight is the Lord getting ready to say, I ain't never seen nobody trust me like this when you ain't got what you've been waiting for yet. And he tells everybody around you, you ain't seen no faith quite like this. Watch this, y'all. He'll testify about you like you testify about him. So when you testify, you got to recognize that he has already testified. Veronica, if this had happened one time, I would say that this is a one-time occurrence in the scripture. But because when you go back to the book of Job for five people who are getting ready to jump and scream, when you go back to the book of Job, he says this about Job before the test even starts. He's a perfect and upright man who was used the very appearance of evil. He said, you can do whatever you want to him because he's still going to bless me. I need to find somebody up in here tonight. I dare you look down that road and tell somebody the Lord just said something about me. He's testifying about me tonight. He is testifying about me tonight. He is testifying about me tonight. Y'all, they talking. He is testifying about me tonight. Y'all ain't seeing that. He is testifying about me tonight. Yeah. My last verse. Mm. They don't want me to preach. Tell your neighbor the Lord. Testifying about me tonight. 
Sneak up on your neighbor and say, neighbor. Tell them tonight is that ain't the right one. Your night ain't the Tell somebody that look like they're ready for God's hand. Say to them, I wish I had my talker tonight. Say to them, neighbor. Tell them before midnight tonight, God is about to do both of us a favor. That neighbor probably don't feel like talking tonight. They tired, but tell them me. Tell him before midnight tonight the Lord will answer your prayer. Yeah. I'm trying to find somebody that need God's hand to show up in their life tonight. Turn and tell them. God help me. Just tell and tell them, say, get ready, get ready, get ready. That's the wrong one. Tell them the worst is over. And the best is here. Turn to somebody that look like they got Holy Ghost power. And say to them, neighbor, you starting this week off without warfare. Yeah, yeah. Turn and tell the other one, say, neighbor, God's hand is on your life. And tell them the devil can't do nothing with you now. How dare you to find somebody that look like they're holy and ready. Tell them, say, neighbor, trust thou in God. Even if it look like it's not going to happen. You got to find somebody that look like they're ready to church. Tell them, neighbor. Tell them God said to tell you tonight what you do here is going to have results there. I can't find nobody that want to have church at me tonight. Look down that row and say, look at them and say, neighbor, many are the affliction of the righteous. But tell them, Lord, shall deliver them out of them all. I was young, now I'm old. Never seen the righteous for sin. Not receive it. Begging bread. You gotta find somebody that look like they're ready for it. And say to them, they. Tell them, say, neighbor, tell them God's hand is about to push you forward. I, I stood to tell y'all tonight that God said the weeping is over and the worshiping must begin. I can't find nobody that want to have church with me tonight. Just tell somebody, tell them you're going to have to praise him when you used to worry. You're going to have to praise him when you used to try to figure it out. Cause you can't trust him And make your own way Tell somebody Tell a neighbor God Is about to do you a favor What will you do If I told y'all tonight That God said to tell you That I just shifted y'all From the back of the line To the front of the line and tell him, say, neighbor, God is about to do this for you. Tell him, say, me. Tell him, yes, you. Doom is about to stand you up on your own feet again. Nobody's helping me preach. But tell somebody, say, neighbor, something is about to happen. That has never happened before. Something is about to shift. That has never shifted before. 
I dare you to tell him you ain't seen. Shucks, it might be too early. Tell him you ain't seen. Nothing yet. Turn, tell him, neighbor. Tell him eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. 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 Is not her. Eyes not seen. Not her. Eyes not seen. Is not her. Shorty. I might look at a neighbor. Tell him, say, name. Let's have testimony service since we from the old church. We don't think of the goodness of Jesus. Evil oh, that he done for me. My, 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 my soul cries out. Holy, hallelujah. Praise him for saving me. Yeah. Look at them real good. And say, neighbor, can I ask you a question? I ain't trying to get in your space. Can I ask you a question? Won't it be the candy? Won't it be the candy? Won't it be the candy? Yes! 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 Turn and tell your neighbor. Tell him you gotta get ready for it. Tell him cause God's already turned it. And since he's already turned it, you better get ready for it. You better act like a praiser. You better act like you got sick. I wanna close it right. But they done got me on there. That made me go viral for doing what the Holy Ghost said. And I wasn't gonna do it tonight. I said I'ma chill tonight. Since they messing with me, got me on four different sites coming after me. But let me tell y'all what, you can't make nobody back down from what God told them to do. Now the foolishness of preaching, he'll confound the very wise. So this is what I'm going to do to give you something to look at. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Open up your mouth, shout it like you know. Shout now. That's the part you gotta wait for. Shout now. Cause the worst is over. Shout now. Tell your neighbor the worst is over. And the best is already here. Bishop, what we're shouting for. The reason that we're shouting. Off of been here tonight. It's because of verse 13. In verse 13 he says. 
He said the same hour that Jesus spoke to the man was the same hour that his servant got here. But y'all got to wait a minute. Because this is why we're about to shout. That's because while you're in here shouting in his face, his word is at your house making up the bed. His word is at your house messing with your bank account. His word is at your house messing with your family. His word is all the way there. While you are all the way here, you might want to do something different. Because if you knew what I knew, you would shout right now. Because what you were praying for, he already fixed it. The answer didn't come to you. The answer went to the problem. You better open your mouth. You trying to figure why you don't feel it. Because your bank account just went higher. You trying to figure why you don't feel it. Because your body just got here. You trying to figure why you don't feel it. Because your mama just got delivered. You trying to figure why you don't feel it. Because the boss at work just got a message from God. Leave them alone. You didn't say nothing. But if I were you, I would shout right here. Cut the worst here over. I would shout right here. Cut the worst here. say tonight it's safe to say by the time you get back home whatever problem you left has already been fixed Prophesied to two people at the same time. Because of their proximity, allow me to prophesy to them at the same time. For two different reasons, God said it's a done deal tonight. The second row, one and two, the Lord said I'm touching both of y'all fathers at the same time. No, I need somebody that don't mind praising. Don't mind praising. seconds to let God get that one out here. Oh, oh yeah.
prophesy to two more people. To the two more people. Don't stop the beat, son. To the two more people, I need to say this tonight. That because of connections, your personal space has been invaded. But God said, I'm about to get rid of un unwanted visitors and unwelcome people who you know are not good for the people you love. Now watch this. Let me prophesy. He said that to the two of y'all standing on the east. said to me in uh, what state was that Missouri he said I'm gonna let you prophesy for a little while and then I'm gonna stop you I'm, I'm thinking Lord what did I do wrong catch this it almost took me out he said you're a prophet not a puppet <laughs> So I'm going to let you prophesy for a little while and then I'm going to stop you. Tonight he said, prophesy for a little while and then I'm going to stop you again. Do, do me a favor, turn to like two people and tell them everything about you just shifted. What kind of praise you give God for a good shift? Again. The Lord said to tell these two people there's some people from your past that you just can't help. You tried to be a friend to them, but God said that's what's holding you back. You're trying to be a friend to people in your past, and some of them God said I pulled away on purpose. He said, every time you go back to them, it's like going back to Egypt. Now watch this. Do me a favor. Shout clean break three times. Good. The person the Lord talking to is you and you again. I need to 
prophesy to three people. I don't know why he's doing this in groups tonight. I need to prophesy to three people. I need to tell you that God said you're going to get the money back. You had to dip into some money to do something you didn't want to dip into. You had already said you were going to hold this money. This was the beginning of your $10,000 run. And you were not going, you were not going to lose this money. You were going to hold it. But looks like when this happened, something went haywire and you tapped into the money. The three people I'm talking to tonight that God said you're getting ready to get that money back. And he said, not only are you getting that back, but I'm going to double what you had. Is one right there, two right there, and three with that hat on. I need to tell the three of y'all, God said the money coming back. Point at me, but what about me? I need some of my money back. to two persons I need to tell you that God is about to I need to tell you tonight that the Holy Spirit just said to me I'm about to give both of y'all your own place. And when you get it, it's going to be better than anything you have ever had. Hear me, God says, I'm going to do you a favor. Because you shouldn't even have a place that looks like what you're getting ready to get. The two people I'm talking to is Daniel and Sharika. Watch what I tell you. 